YouTube, what is going on? Coming back at you with another video. Have some mob history today. I'm at the infamous location where the Hole in the Wall gang finally got caught. It was called Bertha's. It is now called Tower of Jewels. The date was July 4th, 1981. They chose that date to mask their noise with the drilling, sawing, and cutting on the roof to gain access. The crew, the hole in the wall gang, was Tony Spilatro's enforcers. And the leader was Frank Collada, who they were childhood friends. They grew up in Chicago, shining shoes at around 11 or 12 years old. It was supposed to be worth a million dollars, this heist. Little did they know, one of the crew members Sal Romano was a FBI informant. So they were going to get busted. The FBI agents were hanging on the roof just waiting for these guys to gain access and they could bust them. Because before that, it's just attempted burglary. And then when you gain access, you get them for the big crime. This is it. Mob history. One of the FBI agents there from out of state, and they weren't used to the Vegas heat. He actually had a heat stroke and passed out. This was the beginning of the end of Tony Spilatro's enforcers in Chicago. It's like the Chicago outfit said, what's going on in Vegas? Tony put the blame all on Frank Collada when it was really Tony telling Frank what to do. Frank listened. He was loy a loyal friend. He did whatever. He beat people up. The whole crew did rob them and even murdered people. This is the location, YouTube. Mob history. Bertha's, that's what it was called. All right, YouTube. Like, comment, and subscribe, it's free. See you to the next one, later.